What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If we're just meeting, my name is Garrett. I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller showing you guys how you can make a living off Amazon as well. In today's video, we're doing a live sourcing session on Nike.com's sale section. We actually did pretty well, so I'm super excited to show you guys some of the products and, and sizes and colors of stuff that we found that you can actually go and list on Amazon's platform as we speak. So without further ado, let's get into video and let's go over some of those products. Okay, let's get to work. Um, so today we're sourcing, Nike had a big sale. Um, and so we're gonna see how much money we can make from this particular sale on Nike. And this is always gonna be kind of a good place to check out, specifically if you're a, a newer seller. Um, cause you know, you know the brand uh, loyalty is there. You know a lot of people recognize the brand and are looking for the brand. And with some of these discounts, it creates just naturally some um, good arbitrage opportunity. So we're going to look through here uh, and just kind of see what catches our eye, avoiding a lot of like the compression, like the the bras. Those are really a niche comfort item. These look interesting. Forty percent off. We'll click into these guys. And right now, we're just really trying to qualify as quickly as possible. We see the colors. We got a bunch of colors here. Now, if I noticed there were no sizes, we'd probably skip it. Um, so max cost is around 47. We're not close there. These potentially could work, uh, but it doesn't look like we have that color anywhere. So we're going to keep scrolling a bit and nothing there. So we're going to move on. Um, these are probably too expensive. These are probably going to go for like 55 or 60 on Amazon. And some of this admittedly just comes from experience. Right, just being in the marketplace selling a bunch of stuff on Amazon. Been doing this for a while, so I kind of have a sense of, of what things are going for, sort of that sixth sense, so to speak. Um, and you guys will get there too, right, as you develop and just ha look at a bunch of these graphs and look at a bunch of these keeper graphs or products. So we'll look at these guys. Um, these might be close. Women's 39, 61. Yes, that's not going to work. We would need these over 100. Just keep moving, keep moving. Those are admittedly nothing, nothing. Again, so if you wanted to not miss anything and be sure you're not missing anything, you would click really into each and every one of these. Um, but in this case, I'm just kind of spanning. I'm, I'm scrolling. Um, these look interesting, almost 60% off. I know these sell well. And so let's see if we can um, really match any particular sizes and colors within this, um, this skew. Um, so these are going for $33, 19 So let's look and see if there's any other sizes or colors that are going to meet our criteria. Now, we know our buy cost, right? Our, our, our buy cost is about 25 pretty much across the board here. So now we'll, before we even get into it, we're going to create our target price. So our buy cost is about 25 We would need to be selling these probably around 40 uh, 40 43-ish, about 43 we need to be selling these at. Um, so now we have the luxury of going into the variations and sorting on our buy box price. And so we can identify pretty quickly any potential SKUs that would make sense for us. Keep in mind, right, we're going to be spanning down on this current buy box price. Keep in mind the trending of that buy box. And most importantly, these two col columns right here, right? We're going to be really looking for a, the price point we want, but also a, a decent amount of reviews that would warrant a buy into this particular product. 26 reviews on this product isn't bad. Um, trending at 50, obviously that is um, our price point. Looks like the Navy Small. Let's see if we have those guys to kind of get us going here. Uh, Navy's right here. Looks like we do have the Small. These are women's, right? Yep, no women's 46. So our price point's 25. Looks like that matches. Um, our trending is about 47, right? So that works in the past three months. Offers are low. Um, so this may be our first winner. Now keep in mind, typically I advise with sales like this to at least one and a half, two X our margin. Uh, but Hey, quick commercial break. I appreciate you guys supporting and following the channel. If you are enjoying this particular video, which I'm assuming you are, if you're still watching it to this point, make sure you subscribe to the channel, scroll down, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out, helps the channel out. Let's get back to it. Historically, on this particular product, the offers have always been low, so I don't really expect, and there's definitely been Nike sales within this time frame. So I definitely expect that offer count to pretty relatively stay where it's at. So this is going to be a nice 13, 15% margin. I would buy easily 10, 15 off the bat. 
um, making what five dollars each. Um, so that's about fifty dollars so far. Now, it's easily going to compound. And this is one of the reasons why I like variation listings, is because once we have one, is oftentimes quite a few others. So we can start. Can, we can continue to span down here. And I don't even know where the when I just found went. Oh, navy right here. Um, navy extra large. That looks like it has a black band. I, it's kind of a broken listing. I wouldn't mess with that. Um, black X S. See if we have that one as well. Extra small. So we don't have the extra small. So that's a bummer. So we'll keep moving. This one again been a pretty decent skew for us. But, but you can see quite easily how fast these will start to compound, right? So all we're doing is identifying any markets where the trending is really over 42-ish, which also coincides with a good amount of reviews, right? Black 2X, this may work for us, 41 reviews. It's going to sell again a, a good bit of times because the overall listing is selling a bunch. Black extra small. It's a little spiked now, but again, consistently low offer count over time. Um... This probably is going to come down as this maybe creeps up a bit. So this would probably be a pass, being that it's already down to 42. So we'll pass on this one, see if we can find a more a bit of a more stable environment to join here. And I would really just continue to do this all the way down the listing. This one's a little bored on. The reviews are a little bit lower than I would have wanted, but it's pretty steady. So the white 2XL... Um, very low review, so I don't expect that to spike very much. Forty-three dollars. That should work from a price point perspective. So another five dollars profit per unit, twelve percent margin. Uh, make sure there's no complete owners of the buy box. There's only oh, this over there is Kicks Coville LLC, ninety-seven percent. But they only have eighteen reviews. That's not very. That doesn't scare me off too too much. There's probably just a complete lack of offers on this particular SKU, and which there are. Right. So I have no issues joining this the, the, joining this listing. Um, so that's another, all right, test with 10, 15, 20 units, another $5 profit per unit. Let's call it another $50 for us. Um, and so we can keep going down this variations and match any price point over 40 with ratings that are, you know, substantial. We're trying to avoid, like, the zeros, the um, the fours, right? And then also keeping in mind the off account for that specific SKU. We already looked at that one. Uh, I don't know if we looked at this one already. Black and white, extra large. This one's pretty steady, around forty. So the price point's a little lower than I would have wanted, right? But if we can kind of squeak out forty fifty at twenty five percent of twenty five dollars, again another five dollars, right? And so this works. Offer counts have been steady. Um, I don't think there's too much of a risk in terms of with this sale, the offers rising, just because we have so much history of the fact that the offers have been pretty steady. So this is another safe buy, another 10, 15 units, $5 profit. You can see the trend here. All right, so we've already accrued about $150 in profit just from this particular listing. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be another variation or two that we can make work, right? There's not going to be too many, right, because we already kind of close to, we got the XL. Yeah, so now we're getting kind of low. Right here, this would probably work, spanning close to around 40. This one would work as well. So these two are actually going to be good for us, as long as the offers haven't spiked pretty um, significantly. Uh, yep, around 40, around 40, 42-ish. Looks good there. Put our market at 41, profit around 25, cost around 25. Another winner. Right, so just on this skew, there's another one, another 5, 10, or 10 15 units. Um, to test, see how it works. And then I think we have one other variation. That was the black small. And if we continue down here, I got lost where we are here. One of these. Uh, I think it was the black small. I don't know where it went. Um... Regardless, this is the process, and that one's maybe be able to, if we can squeak 40 consistently, that would be a good one. Um, but otherwise, we made up pretty well with just this particular skew out here. It is black, uh, small right here. That was the one. This would be another one, another good one as well, especially, you know, 12 offer counts isn't, isn't too, too much. 
We're just trying to avoid that very significant increase or decrease in that offers. And it does a little bit, but that's probably correlated to maybe a December or January sale, something like that. But the price has been very steady. And that tells me, regardless of the offer counts going up or down, the price and the velocity can handle that delta in the offer counts. This would be another good one, as long as we can um, stretch our $41 sale. Another complete winner. So this is definitely a, a decent product, a good product for us. So we made like $200, $250 just on this one SKU from the variations uh, that we are looking at. And so we continue down, again, seeing if anything else catched our eye, caught our eye. Um, all of these shoes look pretty niche, look pretty like specific. So I'm not getting too caught up in any of these guys. These may look interesting, these free runs, but I think this price is like 115 on Amazon. So ne that won't necessarily work for us. Um, 2018... 94, so not even that. 130, potentially. But even still. Oh, actually, these may work. Oh, the, the sales rank is way high. Yeah, so we'll skip that. The pricing works for that. Sales rank did not. Um, so we'll keep going. We'll try and find one more winner. So we'll click in here, see what this one has to offer. Being that we had success with the other one, right? And so significantly marked down 40%. Looks like we have black, red, and blue, navy blue. Load up sales rank, see if we can identify a Amazon listing associated. Looks like we did. And we may actually be in business here as well. So our buy cost is 18. So before we get started, we want to identify our target, which is going to be probably around 40. Again, at 440. Uh, that's actually way high. So 35. We could probably go down to 32. Yeah, about 33, 34, something like that. 13% margin that works for us. And so again, same process, variations. Sort on the buy box. Keep in mind, keep your eye on the ratings and just see where it works. But we also only have red, blue, and black. So this actually probably works. And these two are also both work. Medium and large. Medium right here. And those are 3.75 inch. Size and fit. They should be. Yeah, throw it 3.5. Uh, it's a quarter inch different. I don't know how many people would actually notice that. Um, I mean, the picture matches. I would probably take a swing at it. Um, but that's obviously your call. It looks like it's, again, a quarter inch different from what's listed. Um, so, I mean, I'll leave that up to you whether you want to take that chance or not. Uh, we do ab absolutely find some profitable SKUs here, right? So this is actually, we can probably squeak out between, you know, around 40 to 45. So if we set that market here, our buy cost is, is what, 18? Yeah, 18. And so that's a, that's a juicy margin for us, $10 profit on a $40 sale, 25% margin. Again, another 5, 10 units, test it out, 15 units. Um, so we made another 100 there. So I think our ticker is up to like 300. Keep on spanning down. This one would work, right? We see pretty significantly, you know, over 40. Gives us a lot of delta, gives us a lot of room for error. If that price dug, did come back down, we would be pretty covered. Um, but the worst case really is only around 25, and, and that's not definitely going to break the bank for us. I mean, it's going to lose a couple dollars if it drops that low again. But couple dollars will survive the upside though it is pretty obviously spectacular being that it's up to 45 there's only one or two sellers on it um but if we sell even around 40 that would still com be completely fine another again another 10 15 units test it out another hundred dollars profit if all of those and if and when they sell um and we'll see if we can wrap up here with a couple more variations the black 39.99 these would work this is actually the biggest skew, so these would move the fastest, medium. Obviously, that doesn't that doesn't um, bode well for us. However, it's probably a, a big, big sale. You know, obviously Q four related, something like that. We're pretty much established the norm that we hit back then, and, and so granted, probably won't expect a forty dollar sale, but if we can. We can still be fine with about 35. Looks like the fees are a little higher on these guys too. That's interesting. Um, 
if we come down even to 30, 30 is not going to work. We would need a $35 sale. But it looks like, you know, we have a couple dollars room for error. There's very few sellers on it. So I would probably take another 10, 15 sale units at this. Um, I don't see this really happening because of this sale um, because this is probably really centered, centered around Q4. Um, but definitely something to keep in mind. You wouldn't want to go deep, deep, deep on this skew off the bat, that particular variation at least. So we would keep going, obviously, through those um, sizes and colors, see if we how many other variations, the same process we can accrue, um, and keep it rolling. We'll try and see. We'll go to the bottom of this page, see if there's anything else that looks interesting. These, I do know, sell pretty well. I don't know if in women's they do, though. Um, and these aren't very great sizes. Let's see what they sell. I don't think they can sell. Yeah. Um, yeah, nothing else super, super interesting. But we did well. We did well in the session. We made probably four or five hundred dollars in you know a span of fifteen minutes sourcing on Nike. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely like it, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one.